Thank you, Cancorla. Uh, uh, Tisha, when you resumed your current role in December, you announced that a unit would be set up within your department to focus on reducing child poverty and improving well-being to make Ireland the best country in Europe to be a child. I believe that we, it would help if we started by improving access to necessary therapies through primary care services, including occupational therapy, speech and language therapy and physiotherapy. We have all seen the crisis in CAMS exposed by the Mental Health Commission report, but the reality is that all services for children are in crisis. Two of the most significant battles parents of children with a disability face relate to, first, getting a diagnosis. But after that long and torturous diagnosis, the second struggle is with the inaccessibility of regular supports. Take the case of Mary and her son David in fourth class. The family had to go privately to secure a diagnosis because of the current waiting lists uh, for a CAMS referral, occupational therapy referral and an educational psychological assessment. They have been forced to go down at this road borrowing from, grand from grandparents because David would be in secondary school before he would get access to an appointment under the current public health system due to the horrendous waiting lists. His mum has now been advised that David is likely to need physiotherapy in a couple of years to assist him with his condition. Given the current waiting list, this means that ideally he needs to be put on the waiting list now in a preemptive move to ensure that he can ac have access to the services when he needs them. But what about the children whose parents or grandparents cannot pay for such interventions? They are at the mercy of the ever-growing public waiting list. Taoiseach, the state is failing in its obligation to provide early intervention and support to these children that they urgently need. Investing in our children at a young age makes, it makes much more sense, allowing them to reach their full potential and to actively contribute to our society. We need to stop these children effectively being hidden away in a corner. In the past, that hiding may have been physical. Now it's emotional as their potential wastes away as they wait and wait and wait for access to services. Taoiseach, these are the essential services that we must provide to help these children to reach their full potential. We should be providing these services as a fundamental right for all our children. And I urge you to prioritise this within the new unit within your department. Thank you, Deputy. Thanks. Um, thanks very much, Deputy, for raising this, um, this very important issue. And on behalf of the government, I do want to acknowledge that we have a very real problem um, when it comes to children being uh, able to access therapies and assessments uh, and treatments and counselling that they need. Um, and uh, children are being let down. Um, it's not so much a matter of money or a matter of political will. Uh, both are there in abundance. Um, it is a real difficulty uh, recruiting staff, training staff, retaining staff, uh, and also organising services in such a way um, that uh, children are, are, are prioritised and their needs are prioritised. Um, and like you, I meet parents all the time uh, who tell me about their struggles uh, and the, fight they have, the fights they have to, have to go through um, to get uh, the treatments and therapies um, and assessments that their children need um, and it, it's impossible to justify because it can't be justified and it is going to be part of the work programme uh, of the Child Poverty and Wellbeing being unit being established uh, within, within my, my department. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we are committed to reducing waiting lists and for that reason we're increasing capacity and reforming models of care to ensure care is provided in a more timely way across all age groups. Uh, one measure being advanced at the moment is the development of the community health care networks <coughs> as part of the Enhanced Community Care Programme. And almost 200 million euros was provided in the budget for this year to make that happen. The investment includes the development of primary care teams within 96 new community health care networks. 94 of these have been established and each serves a population of roughly 50,000. Approximately 3,500 3, extra staff are going to be recruited to make this happen. Uh, and of these, it's expected that around 2,000 will be in the primary care teams with the rest uh, being in specialist teams and intervention teams. Uh, there is flexibility within the overall budget um, and it's estimated that about 100 million uh, of this will go into primary care. Uh, to date, 2,500 staff have been recruited 
or are at an advanced stage of recruitment as part of the programme. Um, and furthermore, children and young people will continue to be seen in primary care through specific investments, including primary care psych the primary care psych psychology waiting list initiative uh, and other waiting list initiatives that the government is funding. Ishuk, late last year, 436 children in Galway were waiting for a physiotherapy appointment, the longest of whom were waiting for over three years. In County Roscommon, a further 95 children were uh, awaiting physiotherapy, with the longest waiting time of almost a year. The picture is just as bleak for occupational therapy, where 540 children are awaiting uh, an OT appointment in Galway, with wait times of over a year in some cases. A further 115 children in County Roscommon are, are waiting an OT appointment. Again, some cases, children waiting over a year. And waiting lists for speech and language therapy in Roscommon uh, range from 7 to 11 months for high priority patients and up to 18 months for lower priority. Taoiseach, the waiting lists are continuing to grow and our children are being left behind as a result. We must address it and address it now. Deputy, um, uh, the, the figures that I have from the HSC uh, and the Department of Health indicate that we're um, seeing a levelling off anyway uh, of the uh, waiting lists. Um, there's been an 18% reduction in those waiting for initial speech and language therapy treatments uh, from the latest available data. And uh, the latest available data from October uh, indicates that we're, we saw a small reduction in physiotherapy waiting lists of about 3% and occupational therapy of about 6%, um, but that's um, pretty minor uh, in terms of uh, reductions in waiting lists uh, and not a satisfactory situation at all. And as I said, Deputy, earlier, there's no lack of political will here, no lack of money here. Both are in abundance. Uh, the challenge we have is organising the service as well uh, and also making sure that we can train, recruit uh, and retain uh, the right number of staff. And uh, it's very much a priority uh, stream of work for the government at the moment.